Today, of course, the swearing in ceremony of the third Modi cabinet is uh, going to take place today evening. The Prime Minister is all set to take oath at 7.15 p.m. The event could start around 6.30 is what we hear. Lots of dignitaries have been called, which includes Aisha's first local pilot, uh, uh, several people from different fields of life. We also have uh, uh, people uh, okay. from uh, uh, different foreign countries. Heads of at least uh, seven countries have been called. Sark nations have been called. 45 ministers were sworn in in 2014. The the number was around 57 in 2019. What's interesting is that while this is the third consecutive victory for Narendra Modi and for the NDA, this time the BJP is dependent around allies to reach the majority mark of 272. It is in fact uh, largely dependent on uh, the 16 MPs of TDP and also 12 MPs of JDU. TDP could be getting two portfolios, it is what we hear, and JDU of course too. Uh, TDP has also uh, said that uh, it will not... Ha it will not bargain hard uh, with the Modi ministry, with Narendra Modi and will be looking at prospects for state is what we hear. NDTV is bringing you exclusives on the new cabinet. In fact, the complete cabinet is likely not to be sworn in today. Nearly 30 ministers could be taking oaths today is what we hear. Those are the wish wills of the big NDA meet that happened on uh, Thursday and uh, of course, uh, that is on, on Friday, I'm sorry, and that is the Prime Minister talking to uh, Chandra Babu Naidu, Nitish Kumar, uh, and of course Amit Shah. What we hear is that the TDP could have sent the names of two MPs, Bemasani Chandra Shekhar, and of course uh, Ram Mohan Naidu. Ram Mohan Naidu is a three term MP, Bemasani uh, Chandra Shekhar is, of course, uh, the Guntur MP, also the richest candidate. The TDP wants to focus on state, is what we hear. Narendra Modi gov gov government is uh, known to not really see a lot of space to allies because it has it's, it's known to have majority governments on its own. This is for the first time that it has fallen short of majority. It is, it's dependent on allies, but in the last three days, there have been several meetings between NDA leaders, between the top BJP leadership, and all also the leaders of TDP, JDS, Apnadal, uh, RLD and uh, TDP and what we hear from our sources is that the negotiations have gotten through. Calls have been made in fact last night to uh, probable prospective ministers. Uh, uh, the Prime Minister is expected to start meeting all the probables uh, today at 9 o'clock and of course uh, the swearing in, they've been expected, they've been called to the Russia. Rashtrapati Bhavan around 5.30 to 6 and 7.15 is the oath taking ceremony is uh, what we hear from sources. Nearly 30 ministers could be sworn in uh, today is also what we hear from sources. Remember, 45 ministers were sworn in uh, in 2014, 57 in 2019. Narendra Modi government is always known to be leaner than uh, uh, the governments of the past, including Atal Bihari Vajpayee that had 71 ministers. And of course, uh, uh, Mr. Manmohan Singh who had about 78 ministers. I have my colleague uh, Ashwarya who has been tracking the TDP very closely. Ashwarya, what I hear from my TDP sources is that the Guntur MP, Pemasani Chandrasekhar and Ram Mohan Naidu, the only TDP MP this time with a lot of experience, three-term MP, uh, could be given, uh, could be, could make their way into the Modi cabinet. Tell us what are you hearing from TDP because there have been uh, several uh, uh, discussions within the party. This is also a new TDP that will have to work hard to negotiate its way uh, within the politics of Delhi. What is the party thinking? Well, Vasudha, throughout the day, and now we will hear those confirmation and the tweets coming in of the congratulations uh, uh, to those MPs who will be inducted in Modi Cabinet 3.0. And the first tweet, of course, had uh, uh, come forward this morning from uh, Jayadev Galla. He's congratulating Mr. Uh, Pemasani, uh, Chandrasekhar Pemasani, uh, and uh, stated on uh, uh, social media X that uh, uh, he congratulate him on being the Minister of State. Uh, such an honor to serve the nation at the central level during your our first political stint. Uh, remember, he's the first time MP uh, and uh, the people of Guntur and uh, entire Andhra Pradesh is proud of you. All the best for your new role and uh, may you bring positive changes and meaningful impact. That's the tweet by uh, Jadev Galla for uh, Mr. Chanshikar uh, Pemasani who will be inducted as Minister of State. Uh, the confirmation coming in. Of course, the second name uh, 
which is also doing the rounds, of course, of Ram Mohan Naidu, three-time MP uh, from Andhra Pradesh, and very close of Chandra Babu Naidu, one of the uh, favourites, if we call a uh, call. And uh, the first name, of course, was uh, uh, given by the TDP to the uh, BJP was of uh, Ram Mohan Naidu itself. Uh, so these two names already had been confirmed. Uh, we have been uh, uh, telling uh, since morning that it would be, uh, you know, two uh, uh, from uh, the major lines uh, TDP. Uh, you know, certainly uh, 16 uh, MPs is something that the uh, Telugu Desam party had won this time in the recent elections. Emerged as the second single largest party for the NDA. Apart from it, uh, Rajiv Ranjan uh, uh, from uh, the JDU, uh, the third uh, uh, single largest party of the NDA, uh, which have uh, 12 uh, a member of parliamentarians uh, in their kitty. They will have, of course... Uh, Rajiv Ranjan MP from uh, Munger in Bihar likely to be in the cabinet and uh, Raj Sabha MP uh, uh, you know Ramnath Thakur uh, uh, his name is also doing the round he could be also likely to be inducted in MOS so that's all uh, the information that we are getting apart from uh, the alliance members Chirag Paswan of course from the LJP Apna Dal can get one uh, uh, one one uh, uh, HD Kumara Swami from the JDS uh, can also be inducted in the Modi cabinet 3.0 but as we were uh, discussing uh, since yesterday you know, this is to be a sleek uh, uh, cabinet uh, uh, formation and uh, the extension could have more names uh, when uh, uh, the Modi cabinet will expand uh, later. Uh, so certainly uh, th from, th uh, from Telugu Desam party, uh, you know, these two names had been confirmed and uh, certainly we will be getting to hear more in the upcoming day as well. Well, Ashwarya, uh, let me also remind our viewers that C.S. Uh, Pemasani is a doctor by training. He's also the richest candidate uh, uh, that the TDP has. Uh, he's a first-term MP and uh, he's around uh, 48 years old, whereas Ram Mohan Naidu is a man with a lot of experience, but he's just 36 years, years old. His father, of course, was also one of the important members of the TDP, a senior minister, also a union minister. His uncle also is with, uh, with, with the TDP, also at a senior position. Tell us about both of these people, Ramon Naidu and also Pemasani Chandrasekhar. Ramon Naidu especially is considered close to Chandrababu Naidu. Well, certainly a very active politician indeed. In the last uh, uh, 10 years, we have seen him in parliament uh, representing the Telugu Desam Party and, uh, uh, you know, raising voice for Andhra Pradesh uh, time and again. Remember, he was the one who stood up, up, up uh, against the government and, uh, you know, demanded the special status in the parliament, raised that voice as well. We have seen him in uh, the national capital uh, uh, while, uh, you know, uh, Chandra Babu Naidu sat down on that uh, dharna at the Andhra Bhavan and uh, he was the the one who was uh, leading the entire protest in the national capital. Uh, remember, he is uh, a third time MP this time, one with a uh, major uh, majority of votes uh, from his constituency and also, uh, you know, uh, coming from a background which had a lot of, uh, 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 you know, political uh, history. Uh, his father was former union minister and certainly it is also, uh, uh, you know, Ram Mohan Naidu who is term to be a very close associate of Chandra Babu Naidu. Uh, a voice for him in the national capital is something that we call him uh, no, uh, generally. And uh, of course, the second name, uh, Premasani uh, uh, Chandrasekhar, uh, first time MP. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, he is also having, uh, as you mentioned, a, a, a doctor uh, background. So clearly, uh, you know, this cabinet, as you, uh, you were mentioning as well, will have a mix of uh, uh, the backgrounds that the Modi cabinet would like to induct in different ministries as well, uh, bureaucrats to doctors to teachers to, uh, you know, from different uh, fields. Of course, uh, Prime Minister has chosen uh, them in the past as well in Cabinet 2.0 and Cabinet uh, uh, one, uh, 1 when uh, in 2014 Prime Minister took the oath. So this would be also a certain mix of, uh, uh, of the Cabinet that we are expecting, but certainly from Andhra Pradesh, uh, as uh, Nara Lokesh told to NDTV that they will not bargain for the post, but they will bargain for the funds and that's the first priority that they will have uh, from the centre. They need a huge cooperation as far as funds release is concerned and therefore the reason perhaps uh uh, whatever they will get, whatever and however right. they will be accommodated in Modi Cabinet 3.0, the first most priority would be to get funds for the state to get special status. Right. Thank you, Ashwarya. 